Hello guys! Hello everybody! Hello you! Welcome to my channel Grace Art. I am Jam and today in this video, I am going to show you all of the things that I made for this month of June 2022. But before anything else guys, please don't forget to subscribe, to comment, to like, and to share this video to your family and friends. And now I am going to show you all of the things that I made for this month. So the reason why I made this video, it is because I was challenging myself that every end of the month, I will be showing you all of the things that I've finished. And at the same time, it is just a little bit of an update of my um, Etsy shop, which is www.crazyart.com So if you see the items there, it means that they are already um, to be out there to be purchased. And if they are not yet there, it means that I haven't posted, posted them yet or they are already sold out. So the first thing that I am going to show you is the first project that I finished for this month. And this is a or a bonnet um, I made this one within like three days because it was just a very easy pattern to make and at the same time if you just like to make it like a very long one you can just like you know remove it and if you wanted to have it like a very short bonnet or beanie like then you just have to fold it to have this little effect I kind of like the pattern because it reminds me of a cactus and yeah, it is just very fluffy and it has this a bit of a woolly feeling which can be um, a very nice thing to use when it is um, very cold outside. Most especially if you are like living in, the, in, in cold countries like in the Netherlands or you know any other European countries or in America or in some place in Asia or you know anything. So if you are going to wear this, it's just really like this. So it literally looks good and I really like it. It's very nice and I really like the kind of yarn that I've been using because it has this like little batik color of white and blue and gray. And it is just really a nice pattern to make. And it is very easy because if you can see if you know the patterns of you are familiar with the techniques it is just be really like a front post um, double crochet and then you can just you know increase and decrease in making this one so this is what it looks like so the second thing that I made is another beanie um, or bonnet thing that I made but it is a very different kind of um, design because it looks like this so this one is for girls or of course you can also use it for boys if you like of course uh, I use a different kind of technique with this one I also um, did a little bit of ribbing um, in making this project and like I think this is what you call the I'm not really sure what kind of stitch this is already but it has this kind of pattern you know and it is just a very nice thing to make and what I like about this yarn it is also a very thick yarn with um, glitters so if you are in a cold country and there is snow you can actually sparkle in it and it is just so pretty to wear so yeah let's try it out so this is the beanie um, bonnet that I've been making and it is just really nice and warm so yeah I really like this <laughs> so the third project that I made is that I made a lot of scrunchies this time and these are the scrunchies that I made so the reason why I made the scrunchies it is because I still have some of leftover yarns that I think would be fit for making a scrunchie because they are a bit not much to be able to make a bigger project but rather I can just make a smaller project like this so as you can see I have a bigger size scrunchie 
and a kind of a smaller size because it depends of course on the yarn that I've been using so if you can see this one is like a pink colored one it is because this is the leftover yarn from this little bonnet that I made and as and as you can see this one is also like pink in color and it also has this a bit of this glittery effect I hope that you can really see it but it also have this glittery effect and it is kind of big and you can see it looks like a coral reef so it is really cute and the other one this one is made out of a colored gray bluish kind of yarn and what I liked about this one is that this one is very soft so I think it is made out of wool acrylic and polyester I guess but I'm not really sure what kind of yarn this is but um, it is a very big kind of yarn and it's just really pretty and lastly I also have this two kind of yarn the other um, scrunchie I mean this one is bigger than the other one it is because I didn't have enough yarn to be able to make this bigger than this one so there are really like leftover yarns and I just decided that I will just be a bit creative and make them a beautiful scrunchie the thing that I like about this one is is because the color is so nice is so vibrant and at the same time it is also with a bit of glitter effect so you can see if I hope that you can see it but it has this a bit of glittery effect and it is just also soft and it's just super nice to wear so if you are going to wear this it's going to be like this so if you're going to you know um, tie your hair it's going to be like this and you can also try it to tie it like this it just it just really looks super nice on your hair you know and I'm really really happy to be able to create this kind of stuff with the leftover yarn so and it looks really pretty and last but not the least I created one amigurumi this month and this is the little elephant so it looks like this so I think I finished this elephant within like a day because the pattern is just super easy to follow and it is just super you know nice and actually if I did like put a little ring about um, on top of it this can be like a little teeter, you know, for babies when they are starting to um, grow their, their feet. Then you can actually use this. and Or you can actually use this like for the crib, you know. I don't know what they call that already. I already forgot it. But you can just use it like a toy above the crib and then, you know, just to turn it around. So it's just like a little toy for kids. Or if you just like animals like this little elephant, then... Yeah, this is like a little kind of thing that you would like to have. So guys, those were the things that I made for this month of June 2022. And I was actually a bit surprised on how much project I still finished this month since I've been busy. And I was a bit of um, not or lacking a lot, a lot of time in making this kind of project since I've been doing a lot of different kinds of thing, things but um, yeah I still succeeded on making at least those kind of project and it is just really amazing so guys that's everything for now I hope that you enjoyed this video as much as I do and again guys thank you again for watching and I hope to see you next time and bye bye